I strongly dislike the word diet because of what society has taught us. How it's associated in magazines, posts, movies. I mean, who hasn't seen a cheesy rom-com where weirdly the best friend always cracks a joke about a no-carb diet or something absurd like that? And I don't want to sit here telling you to go on a keto, gluten-free, no-carb diet. I mean, have I covered the big mainstream diets right there? I simply just want to sit down and tell you the things that I did that changed my journey. Take away the association of diet. I just want to speak you and I together about the little things that I tweaked and learned that worked for my body, that gave me more energy. And honestly, I did see incredible results. I'm not here to tell you I'm some dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Quite frankly, I don't care. Do what works for your body. Honestly, I just figured I would show you what transformed for me in hopes that it helps you, that it sparks an interest, that ignites love to fuel your body. Honestly, keep in mind what works for me may not work for you and that is okay. So with that being said, let's jump in. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, how are you? Coming at you in a big comfy couch on my upstairs. Hey, we moved upstairs because it's quiet and I share a house with a fiance. So I am so stoked to cover today's topic because this was a huge like shift in my fitness journey was just like learning what kind of foods I wanted to eat. Honestly, just creating a completely different relationship, food in general. And once again, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I don't want the haters to be like, oh, Sav is telling you how to eat. Cause that's really not my intention. I am all about balance and longevity and honestly doing what works for you. I wanted to sit down and go over the main like pillars that really transformed when I got more intentional, when I got more interested in learning how to fuel my body and like how I saw the results with that and really what changed. So I'm really excited. With that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's get started. First things first is reject that diet mentality. All right, zip, get rid of it. Toss her to the side, roll up, basketball. We don't need to feel restrictive. It can be so harmful and if you're like me, I honestly went the opposite way because I was like, restrictive? Heck no, rebel. I wouldn't follow the diet I told myself to do because I was like rebelling against myself. It was constantly me chasing my tail in a circle. It was exhausting. This is why I love balance. I love a balanced lifestyle. I love a balanced diet. I love to still treat myself. I really don't like restrictions in my life. I honestly look back at the beginning of my fitness journey and it's exhausting. I remember being so mentally consumed with what I was eating, when I was eating it, and on the weekends, it was like, oh my goodness, I just, I would stress if I had to have alcohol, whatever it may be. I was like just thinking of the calories and it wasn't good for my mental health. And I really had to accept that like I couldn't do this diet, I couldn't do this restriction. And we should be educated on what our body needs. Of course, don't neglect that but it just, it shouldn't be that hard. And that I'm a strong believer in that. And once again, you do not have to agree with me and that is okay. And I love the debate, but for me, I just could not get with that diet mentality. Two is recognize how your body is feeling dependent on the food that you're eating. I would get so acidic. I would get so bloated with certain things like onions is like a weird trigger for my body and I cannot have onions. Otherwise, like I'm, I'm out for a day. Like my stomach, I, I just am burping. It's like, just really take time to realize how your body is reacting. I know a lot of people do food sensitivity tests. I think those are great. Um, and honestly, you should still treat yourself. I still have onions. I'm not, if I'm at a friend's house and they made fajitas with onions, I'm not gonna like pick them out. I'll be like, you know what? Choose my battles, okay? But honestly, just be a little more conscious of like what you're consuming and how it makes you feel. I had fast food the other day with my fiance. We got Wendy's and it was lovely. I loved it, okay? A grilled sandwich, some fries, a Nutella, Nutella frosty okay they have them here and I loved it but I felt awful I felt so sick for like hours after so I I mean of course I love treating myself to fast food but it can't be like an every week every day thing for my body just because 
It doesn't make me feel good. I'm like out of commission for a while. So just be aware of those. Three is research meals that excite you, okay? I know you're probably like sad, what the heck, I'm already doing this. But if you're like me and don't like cooking, I'm getting better, okay? I had to come up with creative meals aside from just like boring chicken and broccoli, okay? I couldn't do it. I was so bored. I would try to like eat clean and that's what I thought it was and it was just dull, all right? Food is meant to be enjoyed as well and make your plate colorful. I find like vegetables I've never had in my life and I love them. I roast so many different ones. An air fryer is my best friend. I make so many different chicken dishes. I make fun different salads. Like it is so much more enjoyable when you enjoy the food you eat and when they're quote unquote healthy, but you don't even realize it because you enjoy the meal so much. So get creative, go on Pinterest, join programs that give you food ideas. I don't even know, but get creative. I promise you it's a game changer when you're trying to work on yourself inside and out. Last one, number four is set yourself up for success. What do I mean by this is meal prepping is my best friend, especially when I have a hungry, fiance, okay? So make sure that you're meal prepping or even going to the grocery store on Sundays. Pick a day that you stock your fridge because if you're like me and I have an empty fridge, I'm more inclined to like eat junk food. The things that like I find in the back of the pantry that like doesn't expire for 10 years, I'm probably gonna eat that instead. So make sure your fridge is full or even choose a day that you do your massive grocery shopping. I love on Sundays planning my meals. So what I do is I'll write them all out in a grocery list and I'll go to the grocery store and one by one, I'll grab all the ingredients. I'll like group them, like say I'm making enchiladas and also like a salsa verde dish. I'm gonna grab like two different salsas. Like I'll just group them together so that way I'm not running around the entire grocery mart trying to find all these crazy ingredients. Prepare my grocery list before I get to the grocery store. So it's really easy to set yourself up for success. Just set aside an hour, two hours, or even like treat yourself when you go grocery shopping so you look forward to it. Maybe grab a coffee, maybe go with your best friend. Here, I go with my friend Julia to Costco and I love it. It's just like something that I look forward to now instead of dread and be like, oh, I have to take time to go to the grocery store. So fam, I hope you liked this. I know it was some fast little tips but please comment down below if you have any tips. With that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you next time.